Hello friends, myself Amit Dhanwar. I will be teaching you the subject project management. The topic which I will be going to be taking today is uh, Royals Analysis that is also known as Waterfall Model. Now as we can see this is the Waterfall Model. As the name suggests Waterfall. Waterfall means it goes by one after the another. There are certain phases in this waterfall model. The first phase is system requirement. Now, taking an example, if we want to develop a project of Android application, then we need to think on two sides. The first side will be of developer and the second side will be of the client. Then on the developer side, we need to specify some system requirements. While developing an Android application, the developer should give its requirement. Like for example, how much RAM, how much memory size, what processor does it require to develop the application. So that comes under the system requirement. Then after the system requirement, the next part of the waterfall model is software requirement. Now thinking about the client side, Client needs to use that Android application on its mobile phone. Now, considering our application requires 2 GB of RAM in the cell phone, and if the customer is carrying 1 GB RAM with him, then our software that the developer has developed will definitely give some bugs, some issues, right? It will lag sometimes. So for that we need to specify the requirements to the client at an early stage that comes under the software requirement. Now after specifying the requirements from the developer side as well as from the client side the next phase comes is analysis phase. What is analysis phase? See while developing the application you cannot start directly coding the application you need to first decide some few points, few parameters. For example, how much time will you require to develop that application is need to be specified. And that is known as time analysis. Next comes is how much cost will you require to develop the application. See, talking about the cost, it is known as cost analysis. There are certain methods by which we can calculate the cost the time required for the developing an application. For example, you can say a Kokomo model. The next few topics in the subject name as project management. So this kind of analysis we do in this analysis phase. Then after deciding this analysis, next comes is program design. See, we are developing the application. As you know the current scenario of the market, as much as good your interfaces are, as much as attractive your GUI are, the more number of customers will download your application and use them. So to design the good interfaces, we require program design phase. This was the one part of the program design phase. The second part is from the developer side. Developer will develop the code, will develop the application, but what are the modules that the developer needs to develop? That has to be specified in a certain format and that format is nothing but a design. Design is done using UML diagrams, Unified Modeling Language Diagrams. And in that UML diagrams, there are n number of diagrams. For example, some few use case, class, collaboration, sequence, deployment, activity, flowchart, ER, etc. and so on. So that all designing part comes under the program design phase. So we have decided two things. One from the client side, the attractive GUI and all. One from the developer side. The developer needs some diagrams to start with the coding. Obviously, now the developer has all the things, the requirements from the developer side, 
the requirements on the client side, the analysis, it is time and cost. And next is program design from the client side as well as from the designer side. Now the actual coding of a project starts from now. That is the phase number five is nothing but my coding. And in this phase, the developer starts with the coding. He'll take one module, start implementing it, start implementing it, take another module, start implementing it. And then finally, when all the modules are created, all the modules are linked together and we get a complete Android application at this phase. Then after developing the Android code, we cannot launch it directly in the market. Why? Because there might be some bugs, there might be some issues in the application which you need to solve them. Why? Because if you directly launch the app on the market, that is the Google Play Store, if some issues come, the customer will give negative feedback about your application and next time when you again modify them and again launch it in your market, the customer will not download your application because when they downloaded it for the first time, there were some issues, it gives a negative trust about your application. So after the implementing of the application, we need to perform some testing. Testing. Talking about the testing. What is testing? Testing means to test all the modules in the application, whether they are working perfectly or not. For example, if I am developing the application to add the two numbers, for example, so you can see, correct? Then I'll provide one number, I'll provide another number, I'll see the output which I get is the addition of two numbers or not, correct? Similarly, when you're developing some application, you need to test that application through multiple phases. You need to check each and every step in detail. In testing, we have several methodologies. Talking about one it is known as black box testing. We all know this testing. We'll do it in detail. Then, after the testing is done, we are satisfied that our application is working perfectly. We can directly launch it in our market. And that comes under the operations. In operations, what happens is, when you're launching the application, the customers will download the application. They'll perform some operations on it. Correct. So this comes under the operation phase. So this was the some phases of the waterfall model. Now talking about the project, if somebody wants to develop a project, then he needs to take care of four things. The first thing is definite beginning and end. See, while talking about the project implementation, you need to specify when I'll start with the project implementation and when it will get completed. Three months, five months, six months, you need to give the definite time. You cannot say I'll complete it whenever I want. It will take some time. How much time? You need to specify the time. Okay. So this comes under the time analysis. Next is unique output. Unique output means you are developing the same application which is already available in the market and which is growing, which is popular. So why would a person download your new application as compared to the popular application? Correct. So you need to give a unique output. You cannot copy the output which is already available in the market. The next comes is several phases. That is through each and every phase of waterfall model is going to be required for your project. Next is temporary and view. You need to try again and again, again and again after implementing it once. You cannot say my application is ready. Do it twice, do it thrice, do it n times until and unless the application is not completely ready. Now my dear friends, this was some details about the waterfall model. In this waterfall model, I like to add some five important steps 
that everyone needs to be care of now what is the five steps first step is in the waterfall model we can see the analysis is need to be done first and after analysis next part is program design i'll reverse the order first i'll do the program design then i'll do the analysis why so because in analysis you need to specify the time and cost required by the project but to calculate the time and the cost you require how much modules are there in your project how they are going to be implemented in what flow they are going to be implemented which comes under the program design so what we will do is we will first do program design of the project then we will do the analysis part then second is documentation each and every step of the project implementation phase needs to be documented it is a very used documentation but it will be useful for first of all a project developer a manager and obviously a customer how to use your application this is also one kind of documentation you can say so each and everything has to be documented perfectly then third thing as i said already do the job twice you cannot say i have developed the application with again start with the starting and go till the ending make sure that you have that all the things that you have done is perfect okay then comes is plan control and monitor the testing in testing first of all you need to plan how you are going to test the modules there should be a appropriate plan and based on that plan you need to control and monitor the modules how my modules are working i need to monitor them and how this module should work i need to control them so each and every part of the testing is utmost important you need to take care of all such things and the last part is involve customer like for example if there are five modules in your application and if you have developed the one module show it to the customer ask them whether it is correct or not do you want to modify something in that do that modification at the beginning phase only why so because when customers approve all the modules at the beginning phase after integrating it together you will generate one application show that application to the customer if that customer is satisfied with all the modules he will give the final approval of your project which means at an early stages you have got the approval of each and every module from the customer then finally you are just integrating them and you are supplying the product to the customer so my dear friends the subject project management deals with all such things project management you have also a subject called as project the final year project in your last semester that is sem 6 in that project implementation i can say this project management will be useful why so because the model which you have learned now you will be utilizing this you will be using this module in the project implementation part of your final year project and after passing you get a job in a good corporate industry then my dear friends when you are going to develop an application you require all such knowledge of project management so my dear friends i like to invite you to all our vidyalanga family do visit your nearest branch thank you